So today we are starting off with a new series on our channel. The name of the series would be discussing documentaries. Uh, in this series, I'll be discussing some of the documentaries that I have watched and what uh, are my opinions on the same. And documentaries are very close to reality. So I'll also be discussing the actual uh, thing that happened, which uh, inspired the documentary. So I think this would be a great series and I think you all will get good recommendations of documentaries from this. So uh, remember to watch each and every episode. Hi everyone, my name is Mayank and on this channel I talk about books. I sometimes also talk about my life uh, related information and also I sometimes talk about other things like movies, web series and shows. So starting with the first episode of the series, today I'll be discussing one of the documentaries which I watched recently and the name of the documentary is One Child Nation. Uh, this one is available on Amazon Prime, uh, you can watch it there. This uh, documentary is based on the one child policy which was implemented in China. This policy was implemented in China in 1980 after realizing that China had a huge outbreak of population and they wanted to control the population in some manner. Now China as you all know it's a very very author authoritarian country so they uh, always implement strict policies. They implemented the one child policy wherein each and every family is only allowed to have one child and none of uh, they cannot have more than one child and if it is found out that they are going to have a second child it immediately steps were taken to um, not have it the mother uh, was uh, sterilized so that she could not have any further children also um, one of the main issues with this policy was that it coincided with another of the social issues which china faced india has also faced this issue in the past wherein we are obsessed with having uh, boys as uh, children so for example what happened used to happen was that if the one child policy was implemented and the family already had a girl it was a big issue for the family because they wanted a boy in their family uh, but they cannot have another child so this was another issue which was uh, caused by this one child policy um, also there were a lot of different uh, complications involved after the one child policy was implemented basically there used to be specific people who uh, had the authority to take control of this one child policy so the main people in this thing were midwives now midwives are actually those people who help in uh, delivering children so not every person can afford hospitals so in those cases midwives uh, help those families to have children but in the case of china when uh, the one child policy was implemented the midwives had to uh, support the Chinese policy in order to abort the children. So if someone had more than one child, uh, if they were expecting another child, the midwives used to help the family to abort the children. This sometimes was also done forcefully when they found out about another child. Now one of the issues I discussed previously as well is the thing, uh, the obsession with the boys. So what happened used to happen was when someone realized that they had a girl child, they used to abandon the girl children because they felt that they were a burden on the family and everyone wanted boys even after realizing that you yourself are a mother they wanted boys children yeah, in their own family so this was a, a big big issue with the one child policy now what used to happen was people were not prepared for this policy uh, previously they were living a certain kind of lifestyle and suddenly this policy was implemented so this also used to lead to a lot of children being born uh, but they were uh, because of this one child policy they had to be abandoned by their families because they could only have one child this also led to a lot of human trafficking in china ultimately to stop all these issues the china what they decided to do was they decided to implement uh, an adoption policy in which uh, a lot of different foreign countries they used to come to china and adopt the children so if someone had uh, an extra child in their family they used to give up uh, for adoption the problem again with this was that the child themselves were not aware of this so once the children grew up they suddenly became aware of this thing that they were originally from china but they are now living with some other family ultimately as of today the one child policy has stopped but there are bitter memories of this among the people now most of the people who are a part of this one child policy they are still alive and they remember uh, this one child policy with kind of bitter memories they don't have great memories of this thing the issue is that they were too authoritative with the one child policy if people are made aware of the issues that the country is facing not out overpopulation is a big issue in many countries especially in, even in india we face we see that uh, our population is rising daily and i'm not uh, very much uh, 
aware when but it has to happen that one day india is going to cross china when it comes to the largest populated country in the world so even in india this child policy has never been implemented before and i think i don't think this is a good way because you cannot just implement a strict policy like that when it comes to humans you are dealing dealing with uh, lives you are not dealing with a thing which is um, very small a human life is invaluable and to just abandon uh, human life like that and put strict policies in place i don't think it's a good way i think awareness is a much better way you can aware people that this is the problem that we are facing if we have more children there'll be issues with the nutrition there'll be issues with the resources that we have but you cannot just implement it like that and i think it was very haphazardly implemented and also um, people used to be blind sometimes those people who were a part of this one child policy uh, the midwives those people who were social workers who were spreading awareness about the one child policy they were blind they were not able to see the ill effects of the policy and they were just praising the government without even knowing the consequences of this thing so i think even these people need to be smart uh, enough with this but then again if the government implements something like that i don't think you have a choice when they are so strict so i think it is the government's fault as well in some way they did not foresee a lot of the issues which could come up with the one child policy uh, overall i thought the documentary was really very well made uh, to show the ill effects of the one child policy they had taken one family and they tried to find out what are the effects that the one child policy had on that family through that uh, knowing they could actually tell uh, the viewers of what were the issues which were faced by the whole of china because ultimately it, the whole of china is a part of many such families so they showed the story of one family and uh, the story of even the children of those families and how they reacted to the one child policy i had knew this thing it existed but i did not know the depth of it so i got to know the depth of the one child policy through this documentary i think there are lots of good documentaries on amazon prime um, I, you can just search for documentary and start watching them so that's what is for the video uh, let me know if you watched the documentary how did you find it and stay tuned uh, for more recommendations on this channel my name is mayank and i will see you soon Thank you for watching.